Welcome back to my Colorado Mountain Garden and today I'm sterilizing some soil in the oven. I've mixed up enough soil to make about five or six of these um, pans. They're about eight or nine, in well maybe about 12 inches long by about three inches and eight inches. And that's because I'm going to be up potting some plants here really soon. My choice um, for my potting mix is Fox Farm Ocean Forest. I've been using it for years. And my compost, I'm using Coast of Maine Cotty Blend. You can use whatever you want. Um, some of the potting mixes and compost that are cheaper or less expensive, I don't want to say cheaper, um, because they'll work for you just fine, contain a lot of big sticks and rocks and stuff like that. So you'll want to go in after you mix up your soil and try and pull as much of the bigger things out if you don't have like a screen or something to do that. Now, my soil is damp. It's not super wet. What I'm trying to do is steam this. Um, if I need to add more water before I stick my plants in it, that's fine. I just want to get it to steam. I have my oven at 225. Um, I will cover all of my trays and I can I do three at a time just so I still have airflow with aluminum foil and seal them down really good then um, I'm going to put in a temperature probe into one of them uh, it just looks like this and once it hits 180 it'll come out of the oven I'll let them sit covered for about 15 minutes um, before I take the soil out of the pan because I want to give it just that little extra time to uh, sterilize and, and heat up just a little bit higher. Um, I usually go between 200 and 225 and if I remember right last year that took about a half an hour. So I'm going to pause this video, I'm going to get this going and then I'll come back and let you know how long it took and what it looks like. That said, no way, it ain't going to happen. It didn't happen and I had 350 for a half an hour so this soil and this is one of the original pans you can see it's not steaming because it's cooled down plenty now um, was in the oven at 225 for almost an hour and a half so while this was cooling I went ahead and I did I had enough soil that I had mixed up in two pan for two pans stuck it in the oven at 350 because that was what was in my notes and almost like clockwork for my oven and my uh, thermometer it was a half an hour it may have been a few minutes short of a half an hour so um, you want to get it to 180 you want to let it sit afterwards and then you want to let it cool thoroughly before you stick it into a container. I use, I have a styrofoam cooler that I put all of my sterilized soil in. You can use um, some sort of plastic container with a lid. The big thing is you want to cover it so that nothing can come in and reinfect it. If you keep your compost and your soil indoors, Use some of those chip clip bags or whatever, you know what I'm talking about, clothes pins, whatever, to close that up because you are going to start getting bugs in your soil that are hatching. The best thing to do is to actually move it back outside so you don't have to worry about that, but if you want to keep it inside because you're going to be using it, which I do when I get a little bit farther along in the year, um, just make sure you close it up and I, there's a few other things oh this pan is actually a 12 12 7, 5 by 10.3 I get mine at Sam's Club I use these when I um, use my smoker with some of the meats that I use and I have to reseal them off um, it ends up being you have to buy 36 pans which some of you may not want to buy that many if you're just using it for soil but um, 32 cents a pan is what it breaks down to at the current price at Sam's Club 
And I know that Dollar Tree, I think they sell either three or four pans for a dollar, but I know Dollar Tree's prices are going up. So um, whatever you want to do. Um, you can even find these pans at Costco, although on the website they didn't have a price. Uh, Walmart, I think, is your next bet at if you want to buy more than just a couple pans. Let's say you want to buy 10 or whatever. They, they have some packs like that. So, you know, debunking the internet, it's not all they say it is. Now, those people that you might watch some videos where they're putting it on like a cookie sheet, yes, I agree. It would probably get to temp probably in less than a half an hour. But you don't have a way to put a temperature probe in that, so you just have to go with it and hope for the best. You don't want to overheat your soil. You really don't want to go much beyond 200 because then other things can happen to the soil that might be detrimental to your plants. Um, I'm not going to go into that because I don't do that. So 180 and then I let them set for about 15 minutes with the covers on and then I take the covers off. In this case, I just let it cool down. My countertop is granite, so it cooled it down real quick. Hope you're having a wonderful day and happy gardening.